Hey, what's up? It's Singular from PC Box Studio, and right now in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to use the basic features of Adobe Premiere Pro for editing a Soldier Front video. And most editors use Sony Vegas, but I like to use Adobe Premiere, so I think it's a great it's a great way for me to introduce a new software for you guys to use, okay? So, on your first launch, you want to select new project on the bottom left, and under capture format, you're going to select HD video and you want to leave all the other settings alone and depends on how you're working you might want to change the file location where you want to save this but in this case I'm leaving it in my documents we'll call this one tutorial and tutorial 1 and let's click OK and I'll overwrite that and this is the, your preset feature presets you have to work with these are your presets you have to work with Alright, these are your presets you that are available for you to work with and for Soldier Front I like to use this a 1280 by 720p preset 30 frames a second so you want to bring over to your HD video folder and in the preset you want HD video 720p 30 frames a second and I'll leave this as sequence 01 and click OK alright so here we are in the basic Adobe Premiere layout. You can change your workspaces by going to Window, Workspace, and you can select whatever whatever pre-made workspace you'd like to use, but I leave mine on Editing. You can also add Windows by going to Window, um, Multi-Camera Monitor, and then you can also like dock, drag these and dock them in and close them and it's pretty much like After Effects for most of you. That's why I mainly use this software. All right. So the first thing you want to do is find your video file you want. So under I record mine here. So I'll take this file and just drag it into the project window. Okay. It should import perfectly fine. And here we have the clip. And you can also change views by clicking this button down here so you can see that I like the list form so first thing you want to do is double click on this this video file right here and that'll bring it up in the source window again you can undock this and or place it somewhere else so I'll leave that up there okay next the basic thing you want to do is pull in and out points by either using the hotkeys I or O for out points so you want to set ins and outs for these clips so basically you want to scroll to the proper point right about there I'll s click the set in point and you want to just move through the video and s how about right there we'll stop it and we'll set an out point okay we can also zoom in here to refine our, ed our cuts so this area is our current current playing area alright so you can see this is the area that plays that we're going to import so we'll just zoom out here and the next thing you want to just leave all these settings selected and we'll just click this overlay button and that'll just drop it right in onto video 1 and audio 1 and a, a cool tip is if you want to add more video tracks you just right click in this area and click add tracks and then you'll add more tracks in there so next you wanna let's zoom in here so we can see this clip a little better and here it pops up in our monitor which is our I guess video monitor this is our sequence okay so we wanna make this clip fit the screen I mean we can stretch it out like this but I don't really like to do that so let's undo what you want is to select the clip and go to the effects controls which is should be next to your source monitor so effects controls make sure you have this clip selected otherwise it'll go away so under so select it and click on effects controls now like after effects we can position it and scale it using keyframes and we can also just scale it up so we'll pull the drop down and then we don't want to uniformly scale this because otherwise we might stretch it out and it'll look fat which is 
not so great. So you want to leave uniform scale checked. And under scale, we'll just stretch it out all the way to the width of the window. And then we can position the X and the Y, move it left and right, move it left and right, and I'm holding shift to move it faster, or up and down on the Y axis. So in this case, I'll move it down. Okay. And there we go. We have our nice little cut. It's pretty simple, okay? So we'll file, save this. Onto, we'll just call this tutorial one dot premiere project. Save it. And I'll replace. Because I had it, I was working with this before. So now let's minimize out. And let's go into After Effects. So many of you know After Effects, and this is one of the cool reasons why I use Adobe Premiere. It's because After Effects works really great with Adobe Premiere. I can just go to my documents, find that find that tutorial file I was just working with, drag it and drop it right into Adobe Premiere. It'll start reading it and there it goes. As you can see, it recognizes it's 1280 by 720, 29.97 frames per second. Okay? Now, most of you watch Andrew Kramer's videos, and all he does is just takes the footage and drops it into the new composition. And there we go. We have our edited clip ready to be colorized. Alright? So let's just leave our playhead right here. Now, the easiest way to colorize is by creating adjustment layers. So I'll just right click out here, new adjustment layer. Now, one of the best things I like to do is add a diffusion layer that makes the color really soft and bright so on this adjustment layer one I'll go effect blur fast blur okay it did nothing because we're gonna increase the blur to about 20 and make sure you click the repeat edge pixel otherwise you'll get these s black soft edges which are really annoying alright so after that you want to select this m trans transfer mode to overlay and it'll make it really soft and kind of dark alright so you could add a curves or levels adjustment to that adjustment layer but instead we'll just name this diffusion alright and we'll make a new adjustment layer we'll add the effect color correction tint and I'll tint this about 30% and then I'll also add a bright a curves to add an S curve on it there's a nice little S curve so it really softens up the picture I mean yeah now you can also colorize this by going to the red channels and s taking away some of the red and we'll add some blue in there alright and one more thing that's a cool tip is, let's call this colors is by, let's add another adjustment layer and we'll call this soft edges and what we'll do is add the same effect blur, fast blur repeat edge pixels and we'll turn this up to let's say 30 okay now the next you want to grab the shape tool and select ellipse tool and make sure you have your soft edge selected and just click and drag and I'm hitting spacebar and also keep keep the um, the mouse held down so you can move this around and just let go set the set the mask to subtract so it inverts it and then under the feather just turn up the feathering let's say 200 and I'll expand this back out alright so there we have added a soft edge that looks pretty good alright this is Singular from PC Box Studio remember to subscribe keep looking out for more videos and I hope you really learned a lot from this tutorial. Alright, thanks.